dear students let's get started with today's lecture in today's assignment we will be creating a, an easy w data visualization we'll be using this video link uh, for a, today's lecture so we'll be watching this this assignment is about uh, analyzing the co2 emission dashboard and on that note i will request you all to download this data set uh, that yeah this is the name world bank co2 for tableau once uh, downloaded i will request you guys to open that data set so here is my data set for the same and like i always say uh, whenever we get a data set it won't hurt to quickly check the what the data is what the file is what are the boundaries and so on so uh, so far whatever sheets you have seen like we have seen like one sheet uh, uh, the whole file you have seen is uh, it either has a single data set or single data sheet or two or maximum was three in this case just looking at this looks like there are multiple one two three four five six seven eight nine are there any more no total nine uh, sheets are there first one looks like it's a basic information there is some web link so it's about where this data is uh, getting from it looks like as the title says it's a world bank data published uh, on the co2 emission that's what i'm getting from the name here this sheet says it's a co2 uh, kt pivoted yeah something uh, we'll we'll learn more about that then co2 kt raw data so it looks like this is a lot of raw data here i can see a country name country code indicator indicator code and uh, looks like these are years 1960 61 62 and so on let's see all the way for the set until complete data is until 2011 and beyond that until 2015 yeah there are some empty rows and columns and uh, yeah these looks like these are data sets and the data that has been collected and data cleaned so it looks like this raw data has been cleaned and the clean file looks something like this and as we go uh, in a week or two uh, you know once we look into these files you know what what these data files are then uh, for yeah one of those lectures i'll be talking about what data cleaning is what data wrangling is but before that uh, i want to you to analyze this data then you will realize uh, those uh, concepts so, so that's why i'm pulling that uh, basic theory part moving forward this is another sheet that says co2 kt for spl uh, for split so yeah uh, looks like yeah this is a procedure they have done then co2 for world to union looks like this is empty looks like co2 per capita raw data so again uh, many things look similar but again as the title says per capita so i'm assuming it's more of a emission uh, produced by that country uh, upon the population it has and uh, co2 uh, per capita pivoted so it looks like they have run into some pivot table of the raw data and then this looks like metadata countries so yeah country abbreviation region within the country income special and so on and as of now i'm not going to touch this data set we're just looking into what this data is so quickly uh, browse through looks like there are nine different sheets and each sheet uh, has some kind of information some of them are raw data and uh, some sheets are replicates of the raw data which is cleaned and something called a split meaning yeah they have done some processing so as of now this being our first uh, tableau assignment we'll keep this simple let's keep our focus on tableau so with that said i'm going to close this sheet here we were so once downloaded i will request you guys to open uh, login and open your <coughs> tableau desktop and typically uh, when you open uh, an empty like a new, fresh new tableau desktop uh, this is how it will look like on your left hand side it will say connect search for data something called as tableau server don't click anything but yes we got tableau server and uh, uh, there is something called as two file and there are multiple uh, file options listed and then there are two server multiple server options listed and then save data uh, sources multiple options are listed and then there are some accelerators <coughs> and uh, yeah some recommended accelerators and more accelerators if you want to click here and then open a workbook and on uh, right hand side there is something called a discovery meet w get started some basic uh, i think uh, yeah, these are basic information tutorial about the same help session resources and so on so this is how a typical <coughs> w screen or when you open a fresh new brand new one will look like so uh, the data set that we will be using is Microsoft Excel. 
So I'm going to click uh, Microsoft Excel over here. Uh, then yeah, just uh, go to the right location where you have saved that file on your computer and uh, click it and open it. Once that's done, uh, Tableau connection will work and it will locate the file. And once located, uh, assuming the file that you have uh, pulled in, connected uh, it was cleaned a uh, tablet will automatically identify the sheet so in this case it identified above uh, co2 kit split pivoted raw data clean data clean per capita pivoted raw data countries and so on so uh, yeah overall like uh, something more about tableau is it's a very fast and easy to create visualization uh, it's equally easy to publish them to the web and uh, Tableau Public, if you decide to use it, it is completely free for use, although with some limited uh, functionalities. So in today's class, we will provide a short overview of how Tableau works. We'll focus on the individual steps involved in the whole workflow process, including how to use different types of data sources, uh, how to clean data, analyze data in our upcoming lectures, and how to create and format different types of interactive charts and how to publish the final viz. Yeah, so viz is the word uh, that we usually call uh, uh, call it. Uh, and yeah, we'll be publishing it on the web, web and or embed it into your website. So for this assignment, we will uh, use the data set from this World Bank that we already uh, yeah uh, added and connected. So since uh, this uh, data set, it's about the uh, CO2 emission by country since 1960. Uh, with this, we can answer several questions like who are the largest producers in the world uh, in terms of uh, CO2 emissions and how that has changed uh, over time. Uh, yeah, from year 1960 until 2011, are the countries uh, the, that were producing lots of carbon emission in those years, early 1960s, 70s and uh, 80s, or have they remained the same or things have changed or no on? So first, yeah, after we selected this data, uh, we'll navigate through, through this file. And once we reach this point where uh, Tableau has identified the main connection, it has established the connection, identified the sheets, uh, we will select the, uh, the appropriate data sheet and we'll be dragging it. So in this case, the sheet we'll be using is this CO2 data clean, and we will be dragging it into this uh, uh, a space yeah, in the center, yeah, somewhere in the center. So you see what I did over here. I'm dragging this, pulling it all the way to the center. W then creates a preview of the data set. Uh, as we see over here, the data set contains a country code, country name, region, year, and some more information. And again, this is just a expanded version. I can make this smaller. And yeah, typically this is your preview. So quickly glance through your preview, uh, make sure everything uh, looks uh, right. Yeah, and if you are happy with the preview, uh, we open our first worksheet by clicking on here. You see this sheet one, you see this uh, tiny uh, uh, spot on your left hand side, sheet one. Uh, click on that. So by doing this, we, uh, yeah, like we approved our preview and started with our first sheet. So let's start our analysis. So there are different ways of creating charts in Tableau. One of the easiest way is by simply dragging and dropping the fields which are listed on your left hand side over here. So you see multiple fields. And uh, here we can see that uh, Tableau has identified the tables as uh, based on the country code, country name, region, year, and it automatically identified the measure names, which are yeah, CO2 KT per capita metric ton, CO2 data, clean count, latitude generated, longitude generated, measure values, and so on. So this uh, usually if your data cleaning is done properly, uh, yeah, it will be automatically uh, identified uh, by Tableau. So once uh, you have identified it, uh, you can uh, simply uh, pull uh, and drag these uh, names into your uh, center space. 
So this is your uh, white space. Uh, usually it's called as canvas. Yeah, just like our canvas uh, in here yeah, we, we are using. Um, for. So here I'm going to uh, drag this country name into this canvas. So once that's done, uh, you can see uh, Tableau has uh, identified the country names and it has automatically recommended and mapped those country names and here uh, and given a dot for every country name uh, that is there in your data set. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the first thing uh, Tableau did. And this is all uh, coming automatically as per whatever, you know, um, how, how uh, Tableau is designed behind the scene. So all I did was I dragged the country name into this empty space. Tableau automatically identified those country names and pulled this world map and it gave a dot for every country that is listed uh, in our data set. Uh, now I can add more information to this map, for instance, by dragging the CO2 per capita under the canvas. So again, going, uh, I'm selecting this CO2 per capita. So I'm dragging and bringing it again in the center of the canvas. So here you see what a uh, canvas did. So I can see uh, the bubbles have been resized now to show how much CO2 the countries are emitting in relation to their respective population size. Yeah, so that's per capita. So visually scanning, it yeah, looks like this is your biggest. Oh yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is the biggest. So it looks like Qatar has been the biggest polluter in terms of per capita. And here is our uh, USA. Oh, sorry, Canada. Yeah, here's Canada. Well, uh, not not huge, uh, fairly. So the per capita metric turn is eight one eight. Our USA is a uh, thousand. Yeah, thousand and four versus uh, highest. The Qatar is two eight three zero. And looking at yeah, like his uh, country size, it's it's significantly high. And, uh, you know, a few more things to uh, look over here is, as you know, you saw, uh, as soon as you drag the country name over here and then uh, per capita. So by default, when you drag the first part, that is country name, uh, Tableau itself identify this world map uh, located a point on each map. Uh, and that point was related to the country uh, name that was there in your data set. And it automatically uh, recommended some these charts yeah and again the charts which are not highlighted uh, the, i mean uh, you there is not enough data there is no enough data structure uh, to use them but uh, as soon as i added the per capita you know some more chart types got highlighted so again uh, we currently it's telling that you know this is the recommended chart that we are currently using and seeing here uh, i can always uh, you know and again these are highlighted again if i go over here you see these are not highlighted so again there is not enough data structure in it so yeah, can't, uh, yeah, we can't use these, but we can definitely use any of these. Uh, still, I think you know this is looking very well. But since the others are highlighted, let me quickly uh, click on each of them, and we can quickly run through and see what those are. And again, this is just getting used to Tableau. Yeah, and uh, one more thing is, if you are not seeing, uh, you know, on your right hand side, uh, smart recommended sets of maps over here, maybe uh, this is what you are seeing. So just click here uh, on this tab that calls show me and this will appear. So I'm just going to the, uh, select the first one and you see it is presenting the information in a tabular format. Yeah. So again, this looks like, yeah, this is tabular format. So again, country name uh, and uh, the CO2, uh, uh, yeah, CO2 data per capita is shown over here. If I do this, yeah, another type of visualization, which is very similar to this. Uh, tabular format, but again, instead of numbers, it is showing by the size of dot. Yeah. Uh, third one again, yeah, just like you know, in Excel, what we are doing conditional formatting. So again, list of country names, and uh, yeah, based on yeah the formatting, it is uh, you're using various grades of this uh, bluish green color. This is where we were at. If I select this one, oh, awesome! So yeah, it is selecting yeah the yeah the the intensity of the color. Uh, with respect to uh, the emission. If I go over here, again, a pie chart, again, well, too many countries for this small pie chart. Again, we can always make this bigger or smaller, but as of now, we won't uh, go into much more detail. This is a simple horizontal bar chart. Uh, yeah, country uh, listed as per uh, A to Z, increasing order, and uh, yeah, on a graphical manner, yeah, it is showing. Uh, yeah, uh, the, yeah, the uh, per capita CO2. Here stacked, 
uh, yeah, stacked uh, bar charts. This is not highlighted. This is another type of way to show it. This is another way to show it. Here are a few more ways to show it. A few more ways. Oh, this also looks cool. But again, uh, there is, I mean, we, we, there is no world map and everything over here. So it looks like Qatar is the largest. Luxembourg is the second, or maybe there is a close competition between. So this is 1466. Six. This is 1656. So UAE is the second highest. Then Luxembourg is 14. Yeah, 66. Then yeah, 1118. Then, oh, sorry, this one was bigger. So yeah, just uh, based on the country name, uh, yeah, it, uh, yeah, it, it is showing that the size of the bubble is equivalent uh, to the per capita. Yeah, so again, these are some uh, recommended uh, recommendations as per Tableau. So you see, uh, these are several features of Tableau. So you see how easy it was. We uh, we got in uh, the Excel sheet, uh, dragged the right uh, the sheets, and went forward uh, with our analysis. And this is where we are at. I will do some manual adjustments to the formatting of this chart. I can add a color schema by dragging this CO2 per capita onto the color tile. See what I'm doing? Uh, dragging this to the color tile. Then I'm going to double click on this. A window like this will pop up. Edit colors. This is by default selected color schema or color palette by Tableau. I'm going to make this bigger. Just to give you a snapshot, these are all the options available. And towards then, there is custom as well. Within this list, I am going to pick red, black, diverging. And I'm going to reverse it. That way, the countries with higher CO2 emission will be in red. I'm going to apply, close. So yeah, country with highest is red. So this is uh, my uh, legion. I'm going to name this sheet. So double clicking over here, say CO2 per capita I'm going to click outside that way it uh, saves the name now I'm going to add one more sheet let's create a second chart so let's uh, yeah add one more sheet over here by clicking on this uh, you see if I hold my mouse it say this says new worksheet this says new dashboard this says new story so I'm going to click new worksheet Now let's look at the same fields that is CO2 emission per uh, capita and let's uh, see how it changed over time. So for that reason, I'm going to go over here, say select CO2 per capita metric tons and instead of dragging it, I'm going to double click it. So you see, this is what I got when I double click. Now uh, we are going to check over the years how it changed. So I'm going to double click it over here quickly. And here is a line graph uh, which shows how and this CO2 emission changed over time. So we can see that for the whole world uh, as a whole, CO2 emission has been increasing over time from 1960s until 2011. It has been increasing. We can also see that the rate of increase has changed over time. Initially, it was steep. Then uh, for some reason, it dropped. Then went stable, then dropped again, and then uh, well slowly increased at a yeah small rate, and then there was a sudden increase, and then uh, it has been more or less the slope is uh, I will say more or less uh, stable as compared with these uh, yeah high changes. And if I uh, yeah try to fit a linear line over here, it has been steadily increased. Yeah, so this is the information we are getting from this overall line chart that we drew uh, on a second. <coughs> Now let's add country to the view as well. Country name, I'm going to, oops, sorry, one click back. Country name, I'm going to add it over here. So now uh, you see all of them have the same color. So again, it, it becomes difficult for me to distinguish. But if I look at the highest chart, it looks like yeah, Qatar is here. So yeah, if I select it, the other, uh, yeah, the all the other countries have kind of uh, grayed out, faded out versus, uh, yeah, Qatar is standing out. So you can see here, Qatar, which stood out in a previous chart, sees a downward trend over here. Yeah, so that's this strange, right? I mean, uh, in the early like 60s, it was extremely high versus a time went, it dropped and then again it increased. But overall, if you look at the trend, it has a decreasing trend. 
So I'm going to click again. Uh, all of the other um, countries will also, uh, yeah, will be shown over here. Versus if I say, let's say this one. Oh, wow, this is another uh, interesting trend. Uh, so country like this, that is Trinidad and uh, Tobago show an upward trend. Uh, over a period of time again it's, it's not as significant as qatar uh, like as high as qatar but again uh, this is a significant upward trend which cannot be ignored so again this is another very good finding yeah so once uh, we again i'm going to click it over again uh, double click so all the other uh, lines will come up other country lines will come up so uh, once we are happy with this chart we can polish it up uh, by you know bit of formatting and to make the design of the various elements very consistent. So once again, let's add the CO2 per capita onto the colored part here. So drag it over here into the color schema. Double click, a window like this will pop up. I'm going to say edit colors. By default, it is taking, uh, yeah, by default uh, recommendation by tab view. I'm going to use it again, the red, black diverging. Let's keep it standard. And I'm going to say reverse so that the red is highest, apply. I want to say okay so you see the countries with highest are the yeah, obvious ones which are red or dark red now uh, i'm going to name this chart as well say co2 per capita per uh, year co2 per Capita uh, uh, per year, year. And oops, let me use a standard way. So Y capital, let's say per capita as well, just using standard terminology, capital letter for yeah, every word. I'm to click outside. Now, the next part, I want to combine these two charts and have to create, uh, and I want to create a dashboard. So I will hover my mouse over here. You see it says new worksheet. And if I hover my mouse over here, it says uh, new dashboard. So I'm going to click over here in this middle part. And you see uh, a dashboard one has been created. And on the left, uh, we can see the two sheets which are available to be dragged into the dashboard. So first one is CO2 per capita. Second one is CO2 per capita per year. So uh, I just need to drag and drop them under this canvas over here to start combining them. So drag, drop, first one, drag, drop, second one. And again, when I'm uh, dragging, dropping the second one, you can see it is trying to fit. It is giving uh, like a grid. Uh, area where it will it is it, yeah it will try to fit in here uh, uh, itself and as i change again it's showing this way as i change is showing this way and then top and bottom so maybe I, here i will just uh, use it uh, fit in over here so by that uh, our co2 per capita is our top that is our first sheet on top of the map and uh, the second one that is co2 per capita per year is on our second so I can choose the size of these dashboard depending on where I plan to share uh, to embed the final visualization. So you see this size. So currently I'm using this desktop browser. So it is yeah, by default taking the desktop. Uh, I can change it. So in order for me to decide, uh, yeah, I will just make this bigger. On top of it, I will make this bigger. And here are the various options. So if I want to uh, yeah, go full screen, I'll select this. If I want to see, uh, if I'm using or uh, publishing on a laptop browser, I will be using this. You see it kind of shrunk. If I'm uh, publishing on a web page, uh, yeah, this is how it will look like. Blog, uh, yeah, if I'm going to use it in a blog, yeah, this is a recommended. Then if I'm using a small, a small blog, again, a small one, a very shrunk one. If I'm using a PowerPoint, oops, yeah, very big one, uh, trying to utilize my screen space. Then again, the letter portrait, this one and so on. So these are various options available. Uh, for now, I'll keep it with my uh, current that is desktop browser. I can also uh, move or remove the legions here and I will make the map filter of the second element by clicking on the little funnel symbol. So yeah, this is what it says. So these are the legions. So I can move them up or down. You see uh, the, yeah, the location changed, move up or down. 
or I can, uh, well, if I know what I'm looking at, I, I can even delete it. I'm deleting the second one also, just showing you a demo. I can bring them back as well. <coughs> uh, then, yeah, here is a filter button. And yeah, I can delete the chart as well, bring it back. I can make it, uh, I can go to the sheet. Here is a filter. So I'll just let me show you a demo. So if I use this filter, that is the small funnel button over here, if I highlight it. So uh, by default, uh, yeah, I'll be uh, highlighting or selecting country. And then accordingly, it will show me uh, how for that country, the CO2 emission has changed. For example, let's uh, pick over the one that we have been using frequently, that is Qatar. So if I select this, uh, yeah, it will show me the behavior of the CO2 emission for Qatar over a period of time. So from 1960s uh, decreasing, then if I select it again, it will bring everything back. If I select for our country, uh, yeah, USA, this is how it has been. So I will say flair, fairly if comparison to the Qatar, I will say it has fairly been stable. You see somewhere around uh, 16,000 to around 17,000. So well, considering this time span, I'll still say it's highly likely stable. And over a period of time, there was an increasing pattern, dropping pattern, very stable pattern. In fact, in recent years, this is very phenomenal. It has been decreasing. So it has dropped from 2005 until now from almost 19,600 to 17. Oh, wow. So this is great news. I mean, it's it's dropping. And I will re-click again. And I think, yeah, that's that's fair enough uh, yeah, to learn about this. So uh, once that's done, I can spend some more time formatting the dashboard so that it, it looks uh, very like very professional and it has all the necessary elements. And I can uh, tell a very good story based on this. And on top of it, say, yeah, here are a few more object options you have. Uh, one of a very commonly is, yeah, let's say text option that we use. So I can add a text option also. Here I can say, yeah, let, let me give it a header name. Say, yeah, let's ask a question. How? The CO2 emission has changed for countries over the five years. And I'll say question mark. And let me use, yeah, select all of this. Yeah, this looks very tiny. So let me pick C20. Yeah, I think this looks good. And we'll make it bolder. If I see, yeah. Well, by default, it will adjust it to the best it can. So it yeah got here. So I can always move this. So well, if I place it over here, well, it doesn't look so good. Maybe a header. I'm looking at it as a title. So let's see this. Yeah, maybe this is a good place, and it it looks humongous, big. So I will readjust the size. Or well, some part is gone. Or maybe I can play with. Let's let's go with 18. If I can fit it. Oh sorry. Select all and 18. Yeah, maybe it can fit uh, everything in a single line. Oh yeah, this is perfect. So it looks perfect. I'm going to still shrink it so that I can still see the text. But again, I have uh, some good sized visuals of these, uh, you know, country map uh, and their individual perf like uh, over the period, uh, how the emission has changed for all of these countries. So yeah, select any. It will show you the trend, then come back. It will come back. And again, select this one. It will show you the trend. Wow, this is significant increase. And then select again, come back. So again, this is kind of a interactive. So yeah, like once you do this, uh, you add a title. Uh, this part is completed. Once I'm ready with my dashboard and whole analysis, I can publish uh, my dashboard on Tableau Public. And here is how you do it. So in your Tableau desktop, we'll go to the server option. And the last option says Tableau Public. And here it says, Save to Tableau Public as. Click on it. And here, yeah, this is the name I had selected. So yeah, this is the name I'm using. CO2 emission for countries. I'm going to say save. Say yeah, it, or, yeah over it. I'm going to say, yeah. for me, I'm going to say yes. Publishing views, preparing views. Yeah, three or three. It will take a few seconds. It will do its thing. And here is my published dashboard. Yeah, under my uh, login page profile that I had created. And uh, yeah, here is how you can share the dashboard. So you can click over here. There are two options when you can, uh, yeah, there is this uh, link that you can copy and email it or share, uh, yeah, email it, share it over Twitter, uh, Facebook, or on even, yeah, there is this code that you can embed in your web page. 
so this is how you will be yeah publishing it uh, on your tableau public page this completes our uh, this assignment thank you so much guys for all your time and hard work